Hi everybody, it's Johnny, Gillen Farms, and I am just arriving at the farm where the cattle are. Uh, looks like there was a pretty decent rain out here yesterday, and I haven't been here in a few days, so I'm just going to check and see what their, gra what their grass is like and what I need to do. It looks like they're grazing it nice and even. It's looking really good. I think I see most of the cattle over here. Or I see some of the cattle over here. Yeah, here they all are. So they have been, they have grazed this down real nice and even like I was hoping. Because there was a lot of grass in here. Let's see here, let's go to counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Am I missing one? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Didn't see that one walking up from back there. That's that's old Gordon. like they're doing pretty good out here like I said they're eating it down nice and even so I'm gonna go I'm gonna take a little trip down in the back and see what it's like down there because I have a feeling that some of that grass came on in the back now. So I'm going to go back there and look and see what it looks like. Rain's doing out here, so I bought this. So let me see if I can get this out. Here's the gate. I bet this will work. If I can get that to catch right there. Yeah, buddy. That's sturdy. That'll work. So, hopefully that'll tell us how much rain we're getting over here on the farm now. This also another little tidbit I want to share with you. If you've got a gate and you've got no cattle over here and you've got no cattle over here, um, you know, a lot of people will just leave that gate open. Well, I have found that the problem with that is that in storm season, like we're in right now, storm will come through and it'll just rock this gate back and forth and just you know, if it's fr free on its hinges out there, it's just going everywhere. And you can do a lot, of, a lot of damage to your gates. So that might be one of those things that you take care of. You make sure you secure your gates either, either open or closed. Um, if you just let them swing in the wind, you're going to end up tearing up a lot of stuff. The grass has come on a whole lot since uh, the cattle were back here. A whole lot. Let me go over here and check the seed heads. What I'm doing is I'm checking these seed heads and making sure this fescue doesn't get too hot for them. Because it can, it can get hot. And I think the, the cattle, they graze fast enough to where they can get ahead of it. I don't need to do that. No cattle in there. Well, right now I'm not seeing any heads on this out here. It is popping up. Probably start seeing heads in about, oh, a couple of days. This is really grown in this area because there was nothing right here. When I moved those cattle a few days ago, 
there was no grass where I'm at right now at all. And now it's, it's it appears to really have come on. Boy, that spring is running, running, running. It is running well right there. That's exciting. So, it's going right down into the pond. Let me take a look at this. All right starting to head a little bit yeah there was if you'll remember from my uh, video that I did a couple of days ago or a couple of days ago it wasn't a couple of days ago it was a, it was a while back at this point where um, greener pastures as I think is what I named it I moved them off of this and if you'll remember how little grass was in here well I want you to look at it now this is what it looks like a few days later we got a couple of decent rains and uh, it has really come on it's still sparse at ground level but there's a lot of forage in here and uh, I'm actually thinking to get ahead of that, the seed heads, I probably should go ahead and turn those cattle back in here. Because that front field, there's not really much, if any, fescue in it, the one that they're in. There's a little, but nothing like this field. So I'm going to turn them in here and let them eat this and knock it down. And I think that will, I think we're just getting ahead of it because I can just barely see some seed heads starting to pop on this. So let's, let's move the cattle. Okay, I'm going to open this gate up and get it ready for them to come on in drive that truck up and I think they'll I think they'll think I've got a goodie in the back for them I don't have anything right now but they'll probably think I do anyway so see if I can bring them down at this time of the year they really need their mineral so I'm gonna move it over there in the pasture with them
I'm gonna throw these mineral blocks out. This is their least favorite block right here, but I, but I always give them one anyway. This always seems to be the favorite. Followed by this blue one, this cobalt block. So they're all set. All set. Can't see their nostrils now, so that's good forage. So there's a steady, steady good, nice little stream coming right in from that storm from last night. And we may get another storm tonight, I don't know. It's looking awful stormy. And, but we take all the rain we can get this time of the year. This right over here, the pond, it's, uh, it's actually up slightly. When I say up slightly, it's, it's not up like it has been, but see the little fish swimming up here in this corner up here in the, in the top that is those fish that I turned loose in here so a lot of those little fish are, are up in here where the water's coming in and they're eating what's what's being brought in by the uh, by that stream right there by that spring so yeah pond's doing good a lot of grass out here cattle look like they're really happy about it so I brought them all the way through the second field following the truck and right into the next one. So they are, all 16 animals are in here. They should knock this down pretty quick and then I'll probably move them to the second field from here and then I will move them to the third field. So yeah, it's, it's working beautifully. This is this is exactly the way that I wanted to set these pastures up. I wanted to set them to where I could do a, basically a trifecta rotation on them. And uh, they should have this one down about the way I want it. Here in probably, oh, a week or so. And then, and then I can uh, move them to, uh, to another field. So anyway, and that's really all I had going on today. Um, I'm excited to see the spring running. Um, it hasn't been running. It rained enough to almost bury that tag since I was here the other day. We got a heck of a rain here and, and I've got a new rain gauge for this prop uh, so that I can see how much it rained here because it According to the orange and yellow on the on the weather map yesterday, it it appeared that uh, we got maybe two or three inches of rain down here uh, last night. And by what I'm seeing, as far as how the everything's running and the pond condition over here, which it has come up, and the little pond has come up back there. I believe it. I believe we got a heck of a rain here. So, and the cattle are excited about this new grass. So, I'm gonna leave them to it. So anyway, if you like this type of little little update, which is all it really is, I'm just moving them again. Um, then like and subscribe, and comment. Comments are always welcome. You know, I like to engage with folks. So uh, if you see something I'm doing wrong or could do better or something like that, I'm more than happy to talk about it. So uh, as always, everybody, God bless.